morning my lovelies and welcome to a very misty a very overcast a very damp and very nippy Tuesday morning I hope you are all well well we're on the last two days of November and I always think November's a little bit like January it's that limbo feeling you know where in January you 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 sort of got the Christmas blues because you've just spent all of December celebrating Christmas and we're coming into January and it's all back to normal and Everything's boring. And November's a little bit like that. We've spent the whole of October celebrating Sarwin. You know, we've decorated our homes and things and and then we have the big day arrive and if you're lucky, the kids come round and do a bit of trick-or-treating. And we all celebrate it in our own little way. What? Bear with lovelies. Miss Lou wants a sweetie. Right. Can you speak and say good morning? Speak. Oh, very quiet good morning there from Miss Lou. Come on then. All right, so where were we? Yeah. And now November comes along and we're all sort of stuck in this limbo of waiting for Christmas to arrive, waiting for December to turn up so that we can get the Christmas festivities underway. But before that, What's, what, uh, what did November have to offer us? Well, it was very warm and wet this month. It's only been in the last, I would say, few days that the weather's actually turned and gone colder. It's been a very warm and wet month. But sometimes that's not a bad thing. We're now coming to the end of this flu stroke cold virus that we've all picked up and had at home. Um, we've just been left with the remnants of a bad cough. But we've all been really poorly with it and most of us have either spent time in bed or wrapped up in the chair somewhere in the living room. It wasn't nice, let's put it that way. It was horrid. And for those of you who are going through it at the moment, oh, I feel your pain. It's not the nicest thing in the world to have, but it's over and done with. And we've all survived. November brought us a beaver moon. Beautiful beaver moon. So called by the indigenous people of America because the beavers were more active in November. You know, getting ready for winter, making sure their dams were all safe, and they got plenty of food. One low. But yes, we had a very beautiful beaver moon. And Tamworth bought us their annual Christmas switch on. 
Now, if you can remember from last year, it did snow and it made it look amazing. Unfortunately, this year, no snow. But the usual fun and festivities was had by all. Look at the mist on there, lovelies. Isn't that beautiful? All that beautiful mist. I like it when mornings are like this. Okay, carry on. Um, yeah, so, you know, the usual festivities were out. There were fairground rides for the kids. There was a few um, craft stalls. Uh, lots of food vendors, lots of drink vendors, um, most of the shops were open um, and then we had Father Christmas walking round and Mickey and Minnie Mouse wandering around town and then at five o'clock after the hour's worth of entertainment they had on the stage they all grouped together with the big countdown to push the plunger to turn the lights on in Tamworth and now we know Christmas is well and truly here so yes although November is a bit a bit limbo-ish it's It's getting there slowly. You come this way because there's a van coming. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. That's it. Um, as we've, you know, gone about our days and come on, good girl. Hey, uh, as we've gone about our days and our business, but lots of people have started putting up their decorations. And though it will be sad to see November go, in two days time December is here. And that's where the fun and festivities can begin. So lovelies, we bid November a very fond farewell. We will see you next year. We are going home now. Because I shall be going to work shortly. So, please look after yourselves lovelies. And if you're struggling, please reach out. There's always somebody there that will help you. Please look after one another. And if nothing else in this world, lovelies, please be kind. This way, come on, Lou. And as I was saying, if nothing else in this world, lovelies, please be kind because you don't know what that other person is going through that stood next to you. And as always, from me and Miss Lou, <laughs> we're sending you all much love and many blessings. <laughs>